Hey tasters, we're in Cavaway in Lanaka. We're in the cellar, there's a great variety of bottles. I love it here, but I can see how this could be overwhelming. So I've had a couple of messages on Instagram. Two different uh, people asked me, how do you choose wine once you're in the shop? How do you make a quick decision? The best thing to do is to talk to an assistant like Petros, but if an assistant like Petros, a friendly, knowledgeable assistant is not available, there are a couple of quick hacks that will help you make a decision. So I had a message from uh, Maria, Maria is planning a night in with the girls, watching Netflix. She's wondering what would be appropriate, what wine would be appropriate. I've also had a, a message from Adam feels that this is a, a very important dinner. He's planning, he's cooking. It's his father's 60th birthday. He's having the entire family over for a big family roast. What wine would be appropriate? are in a cellar like this how do you make a decision especially if you're not too familiar with grape varieties which wine to choose that's right for the occasion your first clue as to what the wine might taste like is the shape of the bottle we all reference French wine because when we use these shape bottles we, we are suggesting to the consumer what a wine might taste like. The first one is the Bordeaux bottle. The Bordeaux bottle is tall and narrow, it has high shoulders. It's the classic bottle. When you think of a wine bottle, you're usually thinking of a Bordeaux bottle. The second bottle shape is the Burgundy bottle. And this one has sloped shoulders and a wider base. Both of these bottles have a punt at the bottom. The third shape looks completely different. It's unmistakable. It's taller, narrower, very elegant, flute-shaped. Usually, no punt at the bottom, and that's known as the Alsace bottle. The Bordeaux, the Burgundy, and the Alsace. So, how does that help us choose wine? Traditionally, Bordeaux wine is a blend of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, high in tannins, high in acidity, restrained fruit, a wine that begs to be paired with meat dishes, roasts, beef, lamb. Burgundy is more playful, funkier, spicier. Burgundy wines traditionally made with uh, Pinot Noir, they, they can be paired with, uh, with meats that are a little bit unusual, like duck, and they're not afraid of um, earthy ingredients such as mushrooms. Last, we have the Alsace bottle. The region of Alsace has been passed between uh, Germany and France uh, over the past few hundred years, and it's a French territory, but the wines produced there are very much in the German tradition. You should expect an aromatic white, a wine that is playful, very floral, and full of baking spices like cinnamon and nutmeg. Let's look at some other examples, some new world examples, and let's see if these rules I've given you can be applied. Let's take this very distinctive bottle. Have you ever heard of the grape variety Moroccanella? This grape variety nearly went extinct a few years ago. However, it's on the app now, it's been rediscovered, and as you can see, the producer has put it in an Alsace bottle. So when you look at this bottle, or a similar bottle in the shop, what can you guess about this wine? It will be an aromatic white. You should expect baking spices such as cinnamon. In fact, the name of the wine is baby cinnamon, Moroccanella. And you should expect flowers. You should expect uh, an aperitif, a wine that can be drunk uh, lightly, on its own if you want to, but very, very floral. This bottle, has uh, a burgundy shape and it is indeed a Pinot Noir. It's a Greek Pinot Noir. What we have here is a very different label. You have a modern design, big bold splashes of color. Old world wines have very 
traditional labels. A pencil sketch of a chateau and gold lettering, very traditional label. Old world wines tend to be cool climate wines, so you expect more acidity, less fruit. New World wines, even if it's the same grape variety, would be fruitier. Lower tannins, lower acidity, more fruit. Back to the king of wines. This is the Bordeaux blend, the French Bordeaux blend, which is a blend of mainly Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. This is the Old World a wine with the old world label and you can see gold lettering very conservative very traditional design and what i have here is two very modern designs which are also in the bordeaux bottle the shape of the bottle is the same but the label could not be more different it's a red rose uh, there is a fantasy name it's called the forbidden fruit even more outrageous this bottle here uh, by Lazarivis very rocky and in fact apparently Joe Turner has also contributed to the making of this wine they look very very different but the bottle shape tells me that I should expect tannins, acidity, restrained fruit, a dark wine, a deep wine, a wine that needs to be paired with meat. So, Maria, to answer your question, if you're inviting the girls over for a night in, think about what you're serving. I'm going to guess you're not going to put out a massive meal. You're probably gonna have some light nibbles. Some of these ladies may choose not to eat at all. Your best bet would be to go for something in an Alsace bottle, an aperitif that people can drink lightly uh, over conversation. But if you'd rather go for something that's red, then go for a new world wine that's fruitier and can be drunk on its own and has a bigger range of what it can accompany. So maybe a new world Pinot Noir. Adam, you're having the family over, you're going to serve a big traditional roast, but for that, you need a Bordeaux blend. Look for a Bordeaux shaped bottle. Even if it's not a traditional Bordeaux blend, even if it's not Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, it will still be in the spirit of Bordeaux. It will still be a wine that's deep, that's dark, that begs for meat, high in tannins, high in acidity. If you don't like wine to be that austere, then by all means go for a new world wine that will be fruitier, but it will still have that same Bordeaux character that will elevate your beef roast. Guys, I, I've just uh, I've just been uh, I've just been recommended this beautiful bottle. I can't wait to take it home. Uh, Ktima Alexandrivi. It's a Greek Syrah, and organic. Hmm? Is, it organic? is it organic? Yes. Right. If, when you go shopping, I hope you guys are lucky enough to have uh, someone helping you who is as helpful as, and as knowledgeable as Petros. I only come here if Petros is here. This is the this is a condition. <laughs> Remember tasters, leave a comment in the comment section below. We love talking about wine. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do it now. I'll see you on the next video. Okay. Region. From your region, this yes, wine? Yes. Yes? In, in this winery, I learned all about wines. <laughs> From this winery, that's yes. really exciting. Uh, really, I, 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 I spent a lot of time. I, I was drunk so many <laughs> times. In, in research, this darling. We call it research. He, I he did research. a lot of times in this winery. <laughs> 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 but I learned a lot of things. <laughs>